Hello and welcome to another Maxis Recolanda tutorial. Today's tutorial is on a conservative approach for treatment of MB2 cases. This tooth was referred to us tooth number 14 for retreat, retreatment or surgery apicoectomy due to um, pain and swelling and sensitivity to percussion. The root canal therapy had been done uh, a few years back, two, three years ago, and a crown was placed on this tooth, but the patient had suddenly become sensitive with swelling on the buccal area of tooth number 14. Uh, the MB2 was uh, particularly sensitive during palpation tests and the tooth itself was sensitive to percussion. Since the tooth was referred for epicoectomy, now one approach would have been to do an epicoectomy in this tooth. However, because most often when a lesion is seen particularly around the mesiobuccal root of these maxillary first molars as well as the second molars, it, and not around any of the other roots, it could very well be assumed that the cause of failure is a missed or um, hidden MB2 canal. So if uh, the MB2 was not treated during the conventional endo, as beautiful as the endo was done in the other three canals, the lack of endodontic treatment in the fourth canal results into failure inevitably, uh, since an isolated MB2 can act like any other single rooted tooth uh, and uh, cause failure due to the presence of bacteria. So uh, the decision was between deciding to whether doing an apicoectomy and essentially uh, cut off the root end and place a retrofilling in the tooth or to approach the tooth coronally and do a retreatment. Since the post was present and there was no lesion associated with the uh, other two canals. And since apicoectomy in roots where root canal therapy was not previously done, and since we were assuming that an MB2 was not treated at all in this case, therefore apicoectomy on a tooth without root canal therapy has a low success rate because essentially all we're doing is placing a 3 millimeter retrofilling on a root which is entirely infected. So the best approach in such cases has been shown to be a conventional retreatment. However, since the crown was relatively recent and um, the uh, um, patient was not interested in having the crown redone, uh, we decided to do a very conservative approach microscopically and essentially prepare a very tiny opening over the mesiobuccal root and through that opening search for the MB2 canal. Now this is really only possible using microsurgical techniques and using a microscope. So essentially a very conservative almost oval shaped uh, preparation outline form almost like a, uh, a what you would be preparing on a maxillary canine or premolar was uh, performed through the crown uh, over this tooth and right